Hi there guys and welcome to another video. Uh, I've just been away for two weeks uh, on holiday which has been very nice and I thought as I've just got back and we have next Angel of Death coming out tomorrow I'd do a little overview on what you may hope to see on the channel in the next couple of months. Um, this video is very much to be, it's going to be very much like escape and listen style um, so feel free to do exactly that. I'm not sure what I'll put on the screen. Quickly though, my 2016, what did I do? I did mainly did Insane Final Boss. Uh, obviously we had Invention, had lots of other good things, Telos release. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed the PVM in 2016 and I'm really looking forward to 2017. Um, let's get straight down to it then. Next, Angel of Death. It will be released tomorrow or probably when most of you are watching this, it will, it will be out already. Uh, I will be streaming it live on Twitch, so do feel free to come and check that out. As some of you know, I was lucky enough to go and test it uh, pre-release about six weeks ago at Jagex, uh, which was a load of fun, um, and I'm 100% convinced this boss is going to be amazing. Mod Ryman and the rest of his team have done an awesome job on it, and it's going to be great group content, which we have missed in the PVM community over the last sort of year or year and a half, uh, especially over the last six months where everyone, or mainly the high-level PVMers, have been completely focused on Telos, which is very much solo content or Virago duos or small man hard mode teams like Four Manning, uh, all of which don't involve a, a large group of people. And at the same time are pretty difficult and elitist. Um, so this should provide a bit more entertainment factor, especially on stream. Um, a lot of team speak banter, lots of communication needed, which is what I love to do. When we were at Jalex, we were able to give lots of feedback. And I, as most of you know, love talking. So I pretty much did that nonstop. Uh, and this video, I guess, is going to talk a little bit like that, about that as well. Um, I did try and give my feedback in a, a manner which is sort of most useful, in the, basically in the most useful format. Um, as much of the feedback that the PVM teams do get is just flame from uh, Reddit or Twitter, as many of you will know. And I do know that lots of changes were made uh, after our visit to, to go and test next hard mode. Um, and one of the things that they're really trying to focus on is making a boss which you're able to do at a high level um, very efficiently with you know top level intricate you know, DPS rotations, tanking, lots of communication, as well as being able to do it with a, in a slightly more chilled out environment, you know less experienced PVMers in a bit of a larger team, um, with you know maybe perhaps without team speak, but still needing some communication because obviously they they need mechanics that are going to challenge people and mean that you can't be carried through by one or two players, which is the aim that everybody has to contribute to this boss. And I think from what we saw um, six weeks ago, it has been, and, and they've really created that well, so it should be awesome. With regards content to the channel, uh, obviously once viable methods and stuff, and we do work out lots of the mechanics and how to do them and how to best deal with them amongst your team, I will be trying to upload as many little guides uh, about Next Angel of Death for you guys to watch and hopefully use. Um, I do really want as many people to give it a crack at killing it. Just because you're not in the top sort of tier of PVMers doesn't mean that you can't go with your friends and, and give it give it a go. Um, it should be, as I said before, one of those bosses that you should be able to do in a bit of a bit of a more relaxed environment. Um, I also will be trying to live stream as much as possible. Um, but sometimes, obviously, if we do want to try and experiment with it, it can be slightly difficult or, or chaotic on TeamSpeak, as we're all, especially on release, when you're all trying to notice different things, suggest ideas, etc. And my team is very much one which should be, you know, we all try and, I guess, be as elitist as possible to start with and, and work with and experiment with different mechanics within the game to try and work out the most efficient way of doing it. And obviously, there's lots of other teams that all, we all communicate. Like, I think a lot of people forget that, yes, it's a bit of a competition. You know, we've got the likes of you got lit up, Couchy, etc. Um, but the, all, the best methods come from a mix of everybody. I also do want to focus on doing the intricate guides like I started off with on my YouTube uh, for Virago, as well as more beginner based um, guides for next Angel of Death. Um, as I think, you know, lots of people, despite the fact may be interested in uh, the, for example, my Virago DPS videos aren't quite there yet in terms of general understanding of the boss. So I do want to try and break next AOD down as much as possible once we know the full mechanics and how it works um, to explain what's going on and then explain why certain methods, etc. are the best way of doing it. Um, because I think a lot of people, when they come new, when they're new to PVM, just see people do something, think, "Oh, that's good. I'll copy it," and don't really understand why. And I think, especially for me, I find it much, much more interesting and easier to incorporate into sort of what I'm doing if I understand why that's the best thing to do or what you're looking out for, you know, in to time that correctly, etc. 
I apologize for the rambling on, but this video is going to be pretty rambly. Um, in other content as well, I obviously have done my Insane Final Boss. There is a pet for Next Angel of Death, and it is 1 in 3,000, which should mean it's a really hard, challenging one to get. It shouldn't quite be as rare as a Vitalis because it has a 1,000 threshold. However, 1,000 next AOD kills, which if, for those of you that don't know, it should take between 10 and 15 minutes to do every kill. That is going to take a significant amount of time, especially as you need to get a team of about 6 or 7. Or the recommended team size is, I think it's 5 to 7, uh, but I think people will start even higher than that to start with, um, and especially if you want to get speedier kills. So I will be grinding fairly hard obviously to get my IFB back but it should be really fun I'm not gonna completely knack myself over doing that straight for hours and hours especially as I have full-time work etc all that um, but it should be a, you know a good long-term goal uh, to get back and very rewarding um, as well as being awesome fun and good GP um, some of the rewards that have been shown on stream such as the new prayers some of them haven't been shown um, uh, those of us that obviously went to Jagex have seen all of the rewards, so you'll see them tomorrow when they come into the GE, etc. Um, so that should be pretty cool. I'm also looking forward to the fact that there are going to be some people that get the pet on the very first kill. And if someone does that, it will be hilarious, but I really hope that I don't, um, just because I think it would be, it almost kills it. I mean, everybody, if you don't know as well, they have said that everybody that's in the kill has a chance to roll pet. It's not like Vit, vit where... Um, you know, if you do more of a role, then you've got a higher chance, etc. You've got a higher chance of getting some of the main drops if you do, if you're the top three DPS or you tank the uh, top two tanks, so you tank the most damage. But aside from that, um, everybody can get up to 10 players can get small loots and then, um, and all of those players can get a chance at the pet as well. So that should be nice. Moving on then, almost done. So well done if you're sticking with me. Um, other stuff of the channel, quickly, thanks for the 1k followers on Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, I do try and tweet as much sort of information um, about all sorts of RS3 related PVM stuff. Or not, not necessarily completely PVM as well, but I'm sure some of you uh, that do watch this uh, do follow me on Twitter, so thanks for that. And I also do want to properly give Telos High and Rage a crack. I haven't really had a chance. Um, and obviously I do watch a lot of Luke or You Got Lit Up streams and, you know, I, it is something that I want to do. It, it's very interesting. It does take a lot of brain power and grind time as well. So I am wary of that. And often when I get to play, you know, I'm coming home from work or something where you just don't want to sit there and crack out, you know, fail after fail to try and perfect it. Because Telos has a very, it's very harsh in terms of you make one tiny error, a high aim rage, and that's it, you're done. Lastly then as well, I kind of want to gauge from people whether they'd be interested, but I do want to just roughly explain in a video why my interface on RS is as it is. Um, I know June Song has been pumping out some really good content. I'll leave a link to his channel in the uh, description below, but he's done lots of stuff about weapon switching and his DPS for Dummies series and lots of other stuff, which I know a load of people have enjoyed, as well as um, his psychology uh, based videos, which, which are to me really interesting as well. Um, but I have a lot of people, especially on stream, ask, you know, why do I have so many ability bars? Why do I have certain keybinds? Um, and obviously it's a combination of what works for you and at what point in time that I made my setup because I obviously change it a lot. So my most recent ability I've put in is reprisal and that it just happens to be shift Q. That's because I wasn't using it before. I'm not going to change around everything just so that's in the ideal location, but it's not hard to press. It's fairly easy. It's still, you know, covered by my hand. Um, and it's not something I was using before and you just get used to various keybinds so let me know in the description below or co and, and comment if you would be interested in sort of just a small I don't know how long that video would be um, but I think it might answer some people's questions as to why I leave you know I have my interface as I do to try and make PVM as easy for me as possible because it does make an enormous difference you know I suck at PVM so I have to make things as easy as possible for me um, and therefore having a, a good interface really changes that I apologize as well for the speed of talking. I realized I got quicker and quicker going on throughout this video. But do uh, feel free to give me a, uh, give it a like below and comment if you've got any sort of questions, queries about next. Uh, I'm, obviously, I'll try and answer as best I can or just, you know, the future of my channel. And if there's anything else you'd try and do over the coming few months. And yeah, we'll go from there. Cheers for watching or listening, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow on stream for next Angel of Death. It should be good. Hear the wind crying out its breath.